Hi, this is Josh from Sweet Tree Productions. Today we're going to talk about something that uh, we actually had a lot of trouble doing initially just because there's not a lot of information out there for it. And I think a lot of people that have these two programs have asked this question as well. So we're going to we're going to go over today how to how to link Avalite's Titan program and Resolume Arena 6 and uh, kind of kind of the easiest way we found to do it. So on your Titan program, you're going to need to make sure that the console that you have Resolume connected to matches up on its IP address and subnet mask to your your device running Resolume. So you can see our ours for here. We are on the mobile, but I'm showing you cuz we're still we're still in a Titan net session with our arena. You can see here that the arena's one of its IP addresses that's actually connected to Resolume is 2.0.0.1 and subnet mask is 255.0.0.0 and that's just what we've chosen for it to be. So on your on your device running Resolume, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go into your network settings. And we recommend, just like any Titan, any any device running Titan, turning off Wi-Fi, and that's just that's the way we do it, and that's kind of how I'll, I'll recommend for everyone else to do it. Um, so what you'll do is you'll go into Network and Sharing Center. You'll see that we have no network access. I've actually turned our our Wi-Fi off. I've disabled it by going in here and just right-clicking and disabling. So I've gone to, I'll go to my connections connected to my my arena. I'll go into properties and I'll find this Internet Protocol version four TCP slash IPv4. I'll go to properties and you can see it will have to be at least one number off difference from from your device just because of how how all this networking works uh, so for us we've got 2.0.0.10 and our subnet mask is the same you don't need to obtain the IP address automatically you need to enter this in, enter this manually here shouldn't have to worry about any of this for now we're just gonna click OK we're gonna close out of all of this So then you get into actually controlling Resolume from from your Titan console. So what you'll have to do, the first thing you'll do is you'll go into Preferences under Application. You'll have to patch in a Lumaverse. We've done Lumaverse 1. We've got our Resolume completely on its own universe running off of Artnet and it's uh that's that's the reason for our our whole networking bit there we're going to keep everything at zero on this just because we're not offsetting the channel at all and all of these should stay the same anyways so we're going to exit out of that and back on our titan program what you're going to have to do I'm still on this same screen you can see down here on line 5 I've got artnet 0 and what we'll have to do to do that you'll come here and you'll see you might see a bunch of different universes there what you need to find because everything was set to 0 on our universe on our lumaverse you need to find broadcast universe 0 and patch it in there just to kind of show you exactly how that works you see it's back over here now I'm going to patch it to line five there and you can see 
that's what it needs to be. That's where it that's where it needs to go for it to work properly. So getting out of that, they should be kind of communicating now back on your Resolum device. What you're going to have to do, you're going to have to go into your shortcuts and you're going to have to decide exactly where you want to patch things in as. There are a few uh, people out there who have tried to create some um, some some what's the word personalities for this particular idea uh, we've just went through and created dimmers for our own and uh, haven't quite built a personality for it yet but uh, this is just kind of how we've been running it and how it's worked best for us so you can see up here I've got if you know a little bit a little bit about Resolume, you've got our composition master there. You've got our speed our composition speed master there. Um, we have a scale on our third channel, and you can see we've gone through. These are some of the little little pickers for all of the all of the clips that you've got in here as well as we've got some some clear clips patched in as well um, and we've got some of the effects that that Resolume has built for you in on some of these wheels down here that we've patched in as well once you've got all that kind of figured out and kind of patched where you want it you can see it over here um, you will need to save all of this in a in a preset you'll have to go down here to save as and save it in there I'm not going to do it for now because it will it will walk you through it once you do it so to get out of this you'll go back to our shortcuts up here where we edited DMX and you can either press edit DMX or stop I'm gonna press stop and so now what I'm gonna have to do back on my Titan program I'm gonna go into my patch view and you can see here, here's my line 5 and everything that we've patched in and uh, we've, we've legend everything as well and given it names to where we know exactly what it is when we pull it up in our attribute editor and in our, in our fixture window to where we know kind of what we're doing with it and what we, what we are trying to work with. We've, we've created a few groups off of this kind of thing and made things kind of work for us and so you can see kind of down here where I've made some playbacks that have have some of that I've I've got a just some of some playbacks that also have some of the some of the effects on them as well that kind of thing just just for quick access you can group the way the reason we did it this way we've got you saw that we had four different layers five different layers um on our resolume program and what we've got here is we've got our five different layers on five different channels and you can see them they're up here we've got we had four different screens at this uh, four different four different sections of video wall that we built for this particular event um, and you can see we've we've mapped them out to where they they kind of match up to these depending on the layer and then we've got one that goes all the way across We've also got, this is our clip picker. We've put that, we haven't necessarily put that on a fader. You can see back out here, I've recorded playbacks that, uh, that give me ac quick access to everything that I may need and uh, where they may be. We're going to go back to scenes. Then we go, if we go back into our patch view, again you can see we gave those are our clear screen uh, clear screen buttons that we patched in on Resolume and then those are our effects and again I've, I've put I've put all of these if I go back to my workspace here I've given myself executors to where I can quickly clear whatever screen I want and it won't go. It will. Uh, it'll quickly go make the 
clip that I have pulled up go away from from all from the Titan software. So I've got just about everything I would need in, in a basic setting um, right here kind of at my fingertips on my on my mobile and on my mobile wing. Um, and you can because these are just dimmers anything that you can do with just generic dimmers you can give yourself different shapes in Titan with it where you can make it strobe if you want to you can anything you can do with an intensity shape you can you can do with these these little uh, the little I keep calling them screen masters that's incorrect the layer masters that we uh, that you've you've patched in that kind of thing I've created on our scale I've, I've created a little two-step cue to where I can it just crossfades from one cue to the next and all it is is if we can have the picture in picture you can kind of see the scale going up and down on there and I've set a limit on our speed to something it was it was pretty low right now because it, there's one pulled up on my console or on my arena it's only going down to one on the speed and that kind of thing we've got we've got our general hole I called it a wall master. It's it's your composition master here that's truly just controlling the whole composition happening at once. So now I'm going to kind of go through a little bit of of just kind of creating something that I've I want to make. We uh, if I click on any of these playbacks, what I've done is I've gone through and I've I've started with something on the bottom. I've started with maybe this this little tunnel here. And I'm going to bring up our masters on Resolume. So maybe you can see that while we're going through. So you can see our, our tunnel is kind of going through there. And then the first, the first screen of these are named. And just for time constraints, all of those kind of matched up to what this first page of playbacks was and that was just kind of what we had at the time you can see it, it took a little bit of time to go through and uh, record all these clips because I would have to go through and I'll show you here kind of what I had to do in my fixtures you can see this is all of our all of our fixtures we used for that de that uh, I guess it was that week that corresponded to our Resolume program I went through and I found say I had on Unity Clip this was one that stretched across all four uh, all four screens you can see it's it's still kinda going there once I change this though on your on Resolume you've got a you've got all your clips and they all kinda line up to individual columns and that's it's kind of how it works on Titan as well. It's a little a little less uh, I guess blocky would be the best best way to say that. Back on Titan, if I um, if I go to say 9.5 on that raw DMX right there, you can see on our on our Resolume that it's it's changed the clip now to column 10 and that's just that seems to be where it changes the clip off at is somewhere in 9.4 to 9.49 is right where the clip changes it may even be right at 9.5 but I had to go through and kind of again choose all of those and uh, give myself give myself somewhere I could quickly grab those and I just chose playbacks for that time just because it was it was easiest at that time. And I did that for all of, for each individual screen. You can see I've gone through and saved playbacks for each individual screen and kind of where they line up. And then I just built built playbacks off of that. So we'll make one now. We'll go back to we'll have to clear our programmer. We'll go back to that tunnel. And 
If I remember right, I think this uh, chaotic energy was kind of cool. So we're going to go through and it's going to match up there just because of how I did it. And I'll bring that those four masters up. And it's a little bright. It's a little, a little hard to see. I may bring the unity master down. Yeah, there we go. That's a little bit, a little bit easier to see. And so then I would go in here, and I would take, I would have to go through as I, as I chose, specific, uh, specific fixtures and their specific address for that, that certain column, and I would just save in scenes here. And that was just kind of how I how I built all of this when I did it uh, it's a little time consuming but it's it's the best way we've found to to do so and again we did also give ourselves some uh, some of the effects that they have going on there you can see I'll have to for now I'll have to do a kaleidoscope just because of my settings going on and I've, I've now got the kaleidoscope effect in. I can shift it RGB, that kind of thing. And you can see I've got control, and everything's kind of everything's working flawlessly. Right now I'm I'm going up and down on my mobile, my actual mobile console, and working from there. That's just a little bit of how we did it. And uh, you can see once you've got all of those saved how you want to, I can come here, and I've still got my kaleidoscope effect going on. So we'll bring that down, go back through and turn these off. I did notice while doing this, for those of us who who have uh, have changed key profiles a lot to make things work for us, the Doing it this way, it seems like you have to kind of click and hold the playbacks if you put them on a on a flash key profile. It doesn't seem to work as smoothly um, as just sitting here and letting them latch and unclicking the ones you don't need. You don't need. So um, that's a little bit about how we did it. Again, you can go back through and you can add you can add more shortcuts if you want more. Um, it looked like just about everything on that screen could be shortcutted um, to kind of do whatever you wanted to do, including more effects, more you could have individual clips if you wanted to do it that way. Um, just just a few different ways that we've seen. Anyways, that's uh, that's a little bit about Resolume and working with Titan together. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching and give us a call if we can do anything else for you.